In introduction video on Turbo Prep, we gave you an overview on all the menu items and the general process of loading data. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to merge data sets. We've preloaded here the Titanic training and the Titanic unlabeled data sets from the samples folder. The difference between those two is that the Titanic training already has a text column with flags, or labels, so that it can be used to train a classification model. The Titanic unlabeled data set, on the other hand, is missing the column with those labels, so we can use a model to assign a predicted label to each of the 392 rows. To do that with our easy-to-use auto model feature, we need to merge those two example sets together into one, which means we'll add the new rows at the bottom. The method to do this is called append. We'll start with our first data preparation session by selecting the primary set to which we want to add data, and then we select Merge. Here we select the table we want to add and use append as merging method. Oh, it is not active. What happened? To find out what has gone wrong, let's see the help file here quickly. It says that this is only available if both data sets have exactly the same columns and column types. OK, there we have the problem. Our Titanic unlabeled data set is missing the label column, obviously. Let's fix this by simply adding an empty column, which can then be used to fill in predictions later. First, select the data set you want to edit, then select the preparation group. In our case, generate. As the name we have to use, survived, and for the content, we'll use a constant, or more specific, an empty text, or nominal, since columns need to match exactly, including name and data type. To add the constant, simply double-click it and then update the preview. All right, looks good. Let's commit this generate. Now back to merging. And as I now update the preview, you can see nicely highlighted by the background color where the additional rows will be added. We commit the merge, and I'll use this data set as input for auto model. I'll go fast through that feature as there are detailed tutorials available and we just want to show you the final output with the scored examples. And while the more calculation intensive models are still running, we can already look at the predictions done here by our naive Bayes model. Adding rows is one option to merge two data sets. The other commonly used option is to add additional columns to an existing data set based on one or multiple key columns. Let's see how this works. I'll go back to Turbo Prep and clean out all the loaded data sets. We'll use some more data from the samples folder of RapidMiner Studio, allowing you to easily follow along. I'll load the transactions this time, which is a list of purchases, but it could represent any kind of transactions. As you can see, it's just three simple columns with the customer ID, the product ID, and the total items or number of transactions. If we want to know what has been sold, we would need to know what the product ID is referred to. If we had a table which contains product IDs and product names, then we could easily look up or even add the details via the product ID as the matching identifier. Luckily, we have one in the samples folder. It is called products. To make sure that the product information is added to our transactions table and not the other way around, we need to highlight that table first. Then we click Merge to enter our next data preparation cycle. Now we can just go through the dialog. First, select the table we want to merge, then the join type. I'll go for a left join, which ensures that all of my existing entries are kept, and details from the products table are added to the rows if there's a matching product ID. So our join keys are the product IDs in the two tables. As we update the preview, you can now see the column's product name, product category, and price appear. By the way, for more details on the concepts of joins and what that has to do with ducklings and piglets, I recommend checking out the 5 Minutes with Ingo episode. Our join here is now completed, and so we can end the preparation iteration as always with a commit. Since we don't care for the category and price, we can do some housekeeping. Simply select both by holding down the Control or Command key when clicking, and with a quick and easy remove, we're entering the next Transform session. Now just apply and commit to have our final table with the merged product names. As always with RapidMiner, things are not hidden in a black box, so we can take a look at the process which was generated in the background. Let's use that for a brief recap. Okay, now you can see the two data sets coming into the join. Then we have a select attributes operator, which is selecting all but the two columns which we wanted to have removed. One note before we end. Keep in mind that if you change something here in the design view, it will not be picked up in your turbo prep session, but it will only be applied to your output once you hit the Run Process button. Now, this concludes our tutorial on merging data. 
Thank you very much for watching.